All right, so today we're gonna to be making a cocktail called the Breakfast Bell. It was created by Sother Teague of Amor e Amargo, and it is a hair of the dog cocktail. So I imagine that most people that are watching this program know what a hair of the dog is, but for those of you who don't, and those of you who do, just bear with me here. A hair of the dog is a hangover cure by drinking more alcohol the next day. So there is a theory that if you drink, like basically when you wake up hungover, Drink a beer and you won't be hung over anymore. Yeah. Or you take a shot and you won't be hung over anymore. We call so it, that is your hair of the dog. Yeah. Reparera. What's that? Reparera. What Reparera? It. If it's uh, to repair. Oh, in what? Norwegian. In Norwegian. Oh, yeah. there you go. So yeah, so like you're repairing yourself. But there's a mm -hmm. lot of different things that people do for their hair of the dogs. Like some people say eat fatty foods. Some people say take a shot of whiskey. Some people say get more sleep. Some people say drink a lot of water. Everyone has their own kind of uh, uh, repairing sort of ritual that they do after a night of drinking. Some people don't get hung over, which I'm just jealous of because hangovers really suck. Mm -hmm. um, but basically, so like when you get hung over, the reason why you get hung over is because you're dehydrating yourself with alcohol. And basically what happens is, is that as your body starts to produce, uh, as your body starts to not produce, but as your body starts to, um, to, uh, kind of deal with all the alcohol in your system, all of your organs get first dibs on the water and your brain kind of gets the shaft. So that's why you get a headache because your brain's just not getting enough water. Um, and then also uh, there is a chemical that is produced by your liver as it's uh, processing all the alcohol um, that actually amplifies not only nausea, but also headaches as well. And so that's why uh, hangovers can be pretty bad. That being said, Hair of the dog drinks are something that have become kind of a cottage industry within the cocktail community. There's lots of different ones, and today we're gonna be making one. And it's kind of based on a fizz. Uh, and as you can see, we have a bunch of eclectic ingredients that we are working with here today. We've got bourbon, we've got soda, we've got coffee, mm -hmm. we've got uh, maple syrup, an uh, egg. I was gonna say, you're like you're missing the raw egg, but uh, you can We got it. the egg, we're not missing the raw egg. We got pepper. Mm -hmm. Sriracha and heavy cream. How are we going to put this together, Marius? I don't know. This, I mean, how different is this from the cocktail red eye, whatever it's, it's called? I don't know. What is a red eye? Red eye is, isn't it like cream and beer with an egg crack in it? Maybe. Well, this is going to be a lot different than that. And actually, what I'm really happy about is as you start to see this cocktail be put together, you're going to realize that me and Sother Teague had the same idea. Because there's something that I started doing when we started doing egg white cocktails that uh, that you're gonna recognize. And I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna call it out until the very end, but I just wanna say, between Sother Teague and me, all right, is at Creative Drunk on Instagram. You'll look him up, all right? Between me and him, between me and you, buddy, great minds think alike, all right? That's all I wanna say. All right, let's get into making the drink, all right? And let's uh, actually have a jigger, a clean one. To make it. So first thing we're going to do is one ounce of cold brew coffee. All right. And next up, we're going to do a teaspoon, ah, kind of a big teaspoon, and a half of maple syrup. And then we're going to do one ounce of heavy cream. Okay, then we're gonna do two ounces of bourbon. And today we're using the Elijah Craig that our viewers bought for us. And now, before we start doing this, I forgot to look up exactly who bought us that. So I'm gonna look it up and I'm gonna shout them out because that's what we're supposed to do. This is Marge, no? No, Marge Foyle gave us the Rittenhouse oh. Rye. Uh, this one was from two people. This is why Steve uh, puts a label on the bottle. This is exactly why he puts labels on the ball. And somebody was just saying like, it's actually three people. Christopher Nikolai, Alex Adkins, and Nathan Green bought us this bottle. So thank you guys very much. This is why he put, but you know what? If it was us, just the, our system, the way that it is now, we would be, um, we would be, we would be losing those tags on the bottle that you're saying right now, because I'm in charge. And that's not a good thing right now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this egg, 
Crack it on the tin, like Leandra likes to do. Oh, we got a little peel, put that right there. And by peel, I meant shell. And we are going to, I should be doing this in the other tin, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm living dangerously today. I'm gonna put our egg white in there and then we're gonna reserve the yolk in. I broke it, but this little guy right here. Yolk's going in there, the rest of the egg white's going in there. Peel is going in there. And by peel, I mean shell. Yeah, put a hard and, peel uh, on the outside of the egg. We are going to give this a nice dry shake. And we're gonna dry shake it. You can dry shake this as long as you want. You want it really hard. Maybe we've got to do the Steve the Bartender metal shake for this one. Mm -hmm. You know what that is, Mary? I think that's enough. You have a nice... Comment below if you like that or not. I don't know. I'm, not, I'm on the fence. What's that? With this metal shake. Yeah, well, I don't know. I'm trying it out. Trying new stuff. <laughs> you don't like the metal shake? No. <sighs> if I had a penny for all the things you didn't like. All right. all right. And then we're going to put our ice in here. Big ice in here. And give it another hard shake. This really takes it out of me, I gotta tell you. All these years of shaking these cocktails, you would think that I have big muscles, but... Have, do you have a shake weight? I don't, I should get one. You, that, yeah, I mean, it's a I stupid... I get like winded, I'm like it winded. Is, it is, seems like a very stupid invention, but it seems oh. like this is something could benefit you. All right, now we're just gonna pour our cocktail into our glass, like so. And then add a little soda water. What's, how much is that like? I don't know, three ounces. Build it up a little bit. Got that nice foam. Pick us as a surfside sip. Oh, it's like a Ramos. Chip. And then yeah, kind of like a Ramos. And then we take our Sriracha because we have reserved our egg yolk. Does it say Sriracha specifically? Specifically, or? yeah. And then we just... I thought that was like a... Sriracha to taste. U.S. thing, like a California thing. What, Sriracha? Yeah. I don't know. I think it's everywhere. And then a little cracked pepper. And there you have your cocktail. So do you know what he's done that's really similar to what I started to do? Oh, the prairie oysters? Started making prairie oysters. So a lot of people were saying like, oh, why do you always get rid of the egg yolk? And I was like, that's right. Why do I throw it out? I shouldn't be throwing it out. That's wasteful. So I started doing a prairie oyster um, after the any egg white cocktail. I'll make a prairie oyster and I'll do the prairie oysters a shot afterward. And Mr. Sother Teague actually made a prairie oyster for his drink, which is pretty amazing. All right, let's take a sip. I, I, I hate to, to kind of ruin this head, but I mean, it's like a sweetened coffee. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a sweetened coffee fizz is exactly what it tastes like. I mean, it's, it's coffee and cream, bourbon and maple syrup. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty good. I like it. And then you got your prairie oyster on the side. I would eat this right now, but we need the thumbnail. So I can't, mm. I really want to taste it. I will eat it as soon as we're done because I want to taste it with the sriracha because usually we do hot sauce. We do like tapatio or something for our prairie oyster. But sriracha specifically, that's got a very specific kind of, um, it's got like a very specific kind of um, spice to it, like a pepper spice to it that's really specific. Uh, and that's why it's so popular because it's just such a particular flavor and a really good flavor, I really like it. So uh, yeah, you have like kind of like a Ramos, it's basically like a Ramos, gin fizz style coffee drink mm -hmm. with a little prairie oyster on the side so you get your little protein which is like a nice touch for a, a hair of the dog cocktail and yeah that's it good job southern teague i'll be buying more amargo as soon as i can get myself to new york
whenever that is. All right, if you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. Check us out on, I, I always love to just, got, I'm just, Patreon is on the tip of my tongue, but it's not Patreon anymore. It's YouTube memberships. Check us out there. We have a virtual bottle program. Actually, three of our members bought us this bottle here. If you want to check that out, if that's like something that interests you and you want to contribute to the show in some way, you don't want to do a monthly membership, you might want to buy us a bottle. Just go to theeducatedbarfly.com and check, and then just click on the virtual bottle tab, and then we will, and then you can buy us a bottle, and uh, we will put your name on it, and we will shout you out. And most of the time, I pre-prepare and just read because I have like a running list of who gave us what so I read who it is and I don't have to read it on off my phone on camera most of the time hmm. Ooh, finally get to eat this thing. I've been waiting for this. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. I don't know why people are so freaked out about raw eggs. It's so good. It's spicy, a little cracked pepper, and there you have it. I love that. It's good.